وَعِدُهُمْ And promise them everything under the heavens and the earth. And then Allah says, وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا And whatever shaitan promises you, it's nothing but a mirage. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys we want to thank everybody out there who've been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing and the people who've been able to give us reaction videos you guys are also really really amazing. And not forgetting the people who've been giving us amazing comments on the comment section below. You guys are super super amazing. I mean, um, to just um, be able to read your comments and some of the comments are really informative. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. My brothers, in Islam, in a narration that has been report, reported by Ibn Abi Hatim, عنه, one of the great scholars of the hadith, he reports that Iblis came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is before or at the time of him being thrown out of Jannah, at that point, Iblis made a dua to Allah and he said, Oh Allah, you created me to do fitna on the children of Adam. I have no power on the children of Adam until and unless you allow me to. So grant me the power to cause fitna to children of Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, For you is that. Then Shaitan said, Oh Allah, give me more. Increase me in it. Listen to this. So Allah said, Whenever a child of Adam is born, you will have another shaitan that is also born. Hmm. Meaning for every human being that exists in this dunya, there will be another shaitan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows shaitan to actually procreate and to have more children. For every child that is born in this dunya, there is another shaitan that comes into existence as well. Then the shaitan said, Oh Allah, increase it for me. And so at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you is the opportunity to flow in the veins of Ibn Adam just like the flowing of blood. So Allah gave him the ability to go into our bodies and play with our minds, to be able to so inconspicuously sound in our mind as if it is our own deep thoughts, but it is actually shaitan saying his worst than evil, evil words into our mind, whispering into our ears. And then shaitan said, even more Allah, give, us, give me even more. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse, and O oh Shaitan, gather your forces, gather your armies, gather your khayl, gather your horses of fire from Jahannam, gather them all, and gather your men, gather the shayateen, which are the knights of the Shaitan, and go and create your hamla, your war upon humanity. And go and destroy them with your forces of evil, go and attack them. وَعِدُهُمْ And promise them everything under the heavens and the earth. And then Allah says, وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورًا And whatever shaitan promises you, it's nothing but a mirage. It's nothing but a dream. It's just a facade. It's fake. It's nothing but a lie. So, in this hadith it continues. And it says that Adam والسلام, heard this dua of Iblis and came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya Rabbi, you have given shaitan this much power and authority over me. So what will you give me, Ya Allah? Give me something. So Allah said, A child of yours will not be born in this dunya except that I will send two angels. Not one. One shaitan, but two angels that will constantly protect him from the evil of the shayateen. And that's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, what is that verse? It says that for every single human being are two interchanging angels, one in the front, one in the back, that preserve him from the command of Allah. Meaning what? We have five angels at any one time. Shaitan has one enemy, but we have five at any one time. Two to write down our deeds. One on the right, one on the left. Good deeds, bad deeds. And then two more to protect us. One from the front, one from the back. And they also interchange. And then a fifth one to simply whisper into our ears, do good, do good. Say this, say that. Say subhanAllah, say alhamdulillah, say la ilaha illallah. And he is our good side. Five angels. Allahu Akbar. So Adam became happy. And so he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, for every bad deed, 
I will only write one bad deed or I will remove it, meaning I will forgive it. But for every good deed, I will write ten good deeds. So he became happy. And he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that I promise you that my forgiveness is forever open until the soul leaves the body. Meaning, whilst the soul is in the body, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness is always open. And then, Adam alayhi salatu salam, our father asked the fourth time, Ya Rabbi, zid, give me even more than that. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah. Meaning, do not at all despair. At all. Do not have any doubt at all that Allah loves us so much. He cares for us so much. He really wants to be with us in Jannah. He did not create us to punish us at all. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami. Allah loves to forgive. And He will forgive every single sin. Your past, your future, your present, every single sin. Inna hu huwa al-ghafoorur rahim. Indeed, He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. Wa anibu ila rabbikum. And turn everyone, all human beings, humanity, return back to your Lord together, repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And submit to Him with your repentance. What does submitting mean after repentance? Submit to Him in the best of ways. Total submission. And that is salah. The total submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our salah. We submit our voices to Allah so we don't speak anything but the Quran or dhikr. That we submit our outer appearance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are totally involved in ruku or sujood or standing in salah. And we submit our minds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we don't think of anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wow, such an amazing video right there. Powerful message by the merciful servant. Anyway, I mean, I like where he said that, um, um, I mean, it's so fascinating that, uh, I like the part where he said that God didn't create us to punish us, like to be honest. That's really, I mean, something to even think about because God cannot just create you and punish you because when he when when god created us he even gave us like five angels that's something that i didn't even know i mean this is such a such amazing and he said that allah created us and he gave us five angels uh one on the front and one on the back and probably one on the side and other one on the other side and then one angel is to whisper to our ear uh, probably you know you know when you have the, those kind of intuition type of things like you talk to yourself or maybe there's the inner self that talks to you or something like that I think that's the that's the guy and the angel I mean super amazing such an amazing video right there and very very powerful and I also like and I didn't know that whenever a child of Adam is born Saturn also has uh, a child that is born on this earth to create Fitna to create fitna, which is like to create chaos, to create, create problems, you get it? I mean, that's so... I didn't know about that, but anyway, that's nice to actually know and understand uh, things that probably I, I didn't know much. And this video is so... it's an eye-opener. I mean, it's something that you sit down and start thinking about it. And it's such an amazing video. And yeah, if you feel like I reacted to this video, the better ways is give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell us exactly what you want us to react to. And the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, you're going to see in the next video. And peace out. you